numbers. I'm a dead meme. How many of you have never been to a dating game before? This is very exciting. Is it because you're freshly 18 or you just don't know how to have fun? Okay, this will be fun. So, the rest of you probably know how that's going to work, but for the youngins, this is inspired by an old television show that nobody watched, where you would have so you three say. lucky contestants. Shut the hell up. You signed up for this? You did it to yourself? This was not based on nepotism at all? And they're going to be vying for the affections of a lucky contestant. The main point, as you can tell by the curtain, is that this one is not supposed to know who these ones are. They're only supposed to guess based on their answers as to how much they like them and want to do the do. <laughs> However, you as the audience get a nice sway in this because at the end of every round, I am going to let you vote by screaming really, really loud. And whoever you scream the loudest for wins the popular vote, but as we all know from the, uh, the last election, that doesn't mean shit, they're the one who gets the pick on. So this is, uh, this is electoral college based. Political. Uh, they gave me a nice fancy folder full of things so I don't lose them, but let's, let's discuss all of the things that I have lost already today. So on my way to the convention, I went to pick up my friend and left all of this stuff in my house, so we had to go back to get it. <laughs> then we got to the convention. <laughs> we got to the convention, I go into Con Ops, where I then leave my car keys. Then I realize I have left my car keys when we were out by the car. <laughs> my purse with my car keys in it on the hood of my car. <laughs> so all of this was in the span of about an hour. Um, there's not enough caffeine in the world to keep me motivated. F's in the chat, kill yourself. I hate everyone in this room and mostly myself. Alright, who's ready to start round one? from the get-go and I don't have to make you yell at me louder. Okay, so I'm not gonna make you guys take the long way. I'm gonna make you step up like big boys onto the stage. Please don't die. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Big boy. All right. God, I love Big Mouth so much. I need everyone, if you see Matt McKenna, to look him in the eye and be like, you're a fucking little freak and I like hanging out with you. Because <laughs> that gif is just him in a nutshell. Also, hide the milks. Um, bachelor number, I am not a, uh, yes I am. Shit, fuck, mistakes, damn it. And I'm a god, god, I didn't think this through. Mistakes were made. Nobody let me kind of know. All right. Defender of truth, protector of the innocent, upholder of justice, doer of good, but damn, does that outfit look so fucking dorky? The hero Satan City deserves, it's the great Sega Man. Dude, it looks like you put it together with stuff you found at Savers. This outfit is not dorky, this is the embodiment of justice. Decoration. Listen, my mom told me this outfit looks really nice, okay? <laughs> That's your first mistake. And some smart boy. She did. <laughs> I study real good. <laughs> oh, what? God, that, looks, that thing's so scary. It's so scary. Uh, bachelor number two comes from a long line of vampire hunters, and along with the standard training to slay, he also became quite handy with a whip. Do with that what you will. It's Simon Belmont from Castlevania. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This isn't Dracula's castle. I asked for directions on how to find those who prey on the innocent and suck them dry. Is that right? Crack 
practicality, which is why it's a leather skirt with booty shorts, long hair, and a whip. You know what? I'm just gonna sit down. <laughs> the 18 plus dating game, one step above Grinder. A renowned artisan, his reputation brings a lot of respect, but there is just one hitch. I hope you're not bothered by that whole undead thing. It's Uda from Tokyo Ghoul. Did somebody say I'm dead? That's a lie. Yeah, I heard something about praying on the innocent, and I got a little carried away. <laughs> Send me pics. Your sole thought is on feet, okay? Can you say you're a rest? Don't tell me a thought. <laughs> if the shoe fits. Oh. I'll have you know. If the stiletto fits. <laughs> and here, I put a skirt over the booty body suit because this is a family convention. I could have thought it out so much harder. Oh, you could have thought Fuck you. <laughs> Kill yourself. You banned. You canceled. <laughs> Get the fuck away. I hate you. Hey, 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 hey. Bye. Bye. Hey. Where's my time going? I'll be back for my round. Your what? <laughs> <laughs> Skills. 
that's what my mom said. Uh, but chief among them, uh, probably my posing, I would say. I would say very good at posing. You can't see the, through the curtain, so I'll do it for the audience instead. No. something. All that on the stage, that's the most paying and they're going to see tonight. Also, I must ask, I was born in 1668. What's in elementary school? It's, it's where they send rich kids to learn how to read. What's reading? Honey, you're pretty. You don't have to worry about that. Excellent, excellent. My listening skills? Well, I am damn, damn good with a whip. I am damn, damn good at stomping on the vermin. I am damn, damn good at vanquishing the darkness, as well as vanquishing pussy. Yeah, yes. A follow-up 
question. Yes. Why was Colonel Mustard in the closet with a candlestick? Let me get straight. Colonel Mustard in the closet with the candlestick? Yeah, what was he doing? Hmm. I don't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, it's quite hard for you to tell the clues to anything when they don't have a big blue paw print on it. my father, who was present and available, it was Steve. And yes, so, but can you can you describe your father in two words? Ab Green. consent. Green man. Get married. <laughs> so you mean that guy in the front row? That, I love you too, Dad. You and your cockle head and your pointy ears. Man, no wonder you turned out the way you did. Yeah, thanks. Yes, to these. Okay. A question for all bachelors. What is the worst anime, and why is it My Hero Academia? Oh, good life. 
You disgusting, great drink drinking monster. Monster? Where? Right here, buddy. Let's go. A question for contestant number two. Yes. Ah, yes. What is the implication? Oh. What is the implication? Uh, yeah. I believe implication is a term that means to infer something. Yeah, I thought you were illiterate. That was a lie. <laughs> the, qu the only question I know the answer to, though, is what is a man? <laughs> Excuse me? Eat an ocean of dicks. <laughs> One step ahead of you. Thank you. Yeah, I bet you do like sausage, you prick. <laughs> oh, it's canon, baby. It's in the mug. So, wait, wait, wait. I have to ask, though. I have to ask. When you eat flesh, do you leave the bones behind? Uh, no. I am very green. I use every bit of the body. It goes into my heart. So let me ask you then. When you do eat the bones, do you get a boner? <laughs> oh, baby, don't you know it. Do, uh, do the families of your victims have a bone to pick with you? Oh, yeah. Or, oh, you know what? I'll stop. I'm just ribbing you after all. <laughs> okay, can we switch the B's to M's and, you know. Well, you don't find this all humorous? <laughs> I lost my dignity. Where did I leave it? Probably somewhere outside this room. In your computer chair when you signed up to participate. Straight up. You've got time for one more question for all three contestants, then we'll let the audience take a vote. All right, question for all contestants. Would you like an A in this trying time? Why not? If they would like an egg. Wrong hand. How is the egg prepared? When I fertilize it. <laughs> Alright, so, so, yes to egg that's like cooked, but no to egg that's covered in your fucking semen? <laughs> Sounds familiar. <laughs> Semen. Don't hurt yourself thinking. I'm trying to. I mean, he is blonde. Mm. Blondes have more fun, don't you know? Alright, alright. How, how would you eat egg? Would I eat egg? Would you uh, eat egg? I would eat an egg only if you fried it on your ass. Because let me tell you, I like can't see it, but I'm sure it's hot enough to. He's saying that you have a nice ass and it's hot enough to fry an egg. Oh, me! Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm so touched! I'm so embarrassed. Alright, eggs. Um, I can't eat that shit. Uh, so, no. You don't eat four dozen eggs every morning? No, I don't eat me, frankly, the size of a barge. <laughs> mean, the cosplay game. Alright, thank you. Alright, so audience, we are going to play a game called Scream Very Loud for the Contestants.